Have you ever heard the saying, gain a child, lose a tooth? Well, I had quite a few patients blame their missing teeth on their kiddos, and one woman even said that she lost a tooth for every single one of her children. She had five. Well, when I asked her to explain this a little more, she told me that babies can absorb the calcium right out of your adult teeth, and that can cause cavities, loose teeth, and that's what happened to her. And her obstetrician confirmed that with her years ago. Well, since he was a medical doctor, of course, there was no chance that a dental hygienist like me was ever gonna make her think differently. It didn't matter how she formed the initial cavity that led to a cracked tooth that led to an extraction. She just knew in her heart that that baby needed calcium and it must have taken it directly from her tooth. Well, today I'm gonna dig a little deeper into this topic and help clear up some of the confusion about developing babies, bones, and a woman's teeth. My name is Charlotte and you're watching Burst TV. Now, if you wholeheartedly believe in this wives' tale, I don't blame you one bit. Studies consistently show that there is a link between pregnancy, periodontal diseases, and decay. Well, here are some of the reasons why you are definitely more susceptible to dental problems when you're pregnant. You're less likely to visit the dentist. Just think about it. All these other doctors are going to be picking and prodding, and sometimes the dental visits get put to the back burner. A lot of people hear that they shouldn't visit the dentist to have work done and that x-rays needed to be avoided. So what ends up happening is that they also skip on their routine cleanings. Pregnancy also makes you very tired almost all the time and many expecting moms just don't take great care of their teeth. Your diet can get really off. Cravings for sweets sometimes go up. You might eat more carbs, snack constantly. A lot of food related risk factors there. And then morning sickness, that leads to vomiting. Throwing up leaves your mouth filled with acids that can damage your teeth. And then there's also a high probability that you aren't drinking enough water to stay really hydrated. You need to have a great amount of spit in your mouth to protect your enamel. And how about that awesome gag reflex that makes brushing and flossing sometimes impossible? And hormones. We could talk about this for an hour, but essentially your body is doing everything possible to protect that developing baby and your gums are more reactive to bacterial invaders. Add up all of these things and it's a perfect storm for dental problems. Here's what's not true about that wives' tale. The cute little human fetus does not absorb calcium directly from its mother's adult teeth. On a side note, it's really amazing that little tooth buds start to form when the baby is just about five weeks along in utero. Odontogenesis, the tooth formation, it's a very complex process with many stages, so I'm not even gonna get into all of that, but it was just a cool thing to mention. Okay, so our teeth and bones are definitely supported by key minerals like calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and potassium. Even vitamin C and vitamin D help absorb all of those things together. So any available minerals running through your bloodstream are gonna travel through the placenta and go all the way to the baby body parts where they're needed. And if you don't have enough for both of you, it's you that are not gonna get quite enough. And our bone forming and bone destroying cells are constantly working hard all the time to break down and rebuild it back. We literally regenerate on a continual basis. Oddly enough, the enamel on our teeth is the only tissue in the body that does not regrow or replace itself entirely, unless you're counting when you go from baby teeth to adult teeth, just that one time. But you have all the tooth buds in place when you're born. So the demineralization and remineralization of your teeth. That's more of a surface level ebb and flow. Uh, that process happens so we do in fact all need great minerals and a nice support of saliva to keep things in balance. And that's really what it's all about here, balance. The primary mineral in our teeth is hydroxyapatite. It's a crystalline calcium phosphate. But if there's not enough calcium coming from your diet to support fetal development, your body can actually take some of this mineral from the bones in our body, but not your teeth. The calcium in our teeth is essentially fused and locked into place. Now in the presence of acid attacks and bacteria, our teeth can break down, decay, get infected, lose strength, start to pit and form holes, cavities. Now the jawbone can lose density over long periods of time, but nothing in our system is gonna somehow divert broken down tooth bits 
towards your baby. It just doesn't work quite like that. And again, all of the vitamins and minerals that we get from our food and supplements, they work together to form bones, cartilage, nerve, skin, and teeth for the developing baby. In a short period of time, which pregnancy really is considering your lifetime, no permanent damage usually happens. Now I did learn recently that there is a link between the lack of vitamin D during pregnancy and kids that have more cavities. I'll make sure to put that link in the description of this video. Again, this does make sense because if you just aren't getting enough of a vitamin or mineral, there could be ill side effects. And because vitamin D is a fabulous co-vitamin that helps calcium do what it needs to do, you can see where I'm going with that. Now, if you live in a situation where you're extremely malnourished and perhaps are pregnant for years on end, you could definitely start to see some bone density issues like osteopenia and osteoporosis. Your jawbone could get less dense. And this situation is similar to like when you have other medical conditions or you're taking medications or have age-related bone degradation. Pregnancy is definitely a critical time where women need to take their prenatals and get the recommended level of calcium and supporting vitamins and nutrients each day as the baby develops strong bones and teeth. So the key point with all of this is that risk factors that we talked about in the beginning of this video, that's the real reason why moms have dental problems near their baby rearing days. Kids can and will cause all kinds of heartache um, and medical issues potentially, but let's all collectively put this wife's tail to rest and stop blaming them for your missing teeth. Now, I didn't want you to just take my word for it. I'll put some peer-reviewed and non-peer-reviewed resources in the description of this video. But I also polled some of my dental friends and asked them the simple question, do developing babies take calcium from a mother's teeth? As you can see, even some of them think this myth is true. So don't feel bad. It's super easy to see the effects of a growing baby on someone else's mouth and accept a theory that kind of makes sense. And there are a lot of articles out there that describe how teeth and gums are damaged through pregnancy. But here I'm trying to be super specific about what's actually happening. Now, I love problem solution type segments. So here are some top dental hygiene tips for pregnant women. Whatever you normally do to take care of your teeth and gums, just do more. Stay ahead of infections by brushing at least twice a day and flossing at least once a day. Rinse with water anytime you eat or drink something that isn't water, after breath mints, after throwing up. Don't skip out on the prenatals, even if you eat really well and you might not feel like they're doing anything, it's better to have more in your system than not enough. So you'll basically pee out any vitamins and minerals that the baby doesn't need. And get to your hygienist more frequently. If you normally go every six months, maybe go every three months while you're pregnant. They're gonna be your best resource for removing tartar and plaque, diagnosing inflammation, and checking to see generally if uh, you have anything going on with your teeth and gums. And they can also provide uh, topical paste and rinses that'll help protect your teeth from plaque acid attacks. So there you have it guys. I know sometimes I talk fast, so if you need to hear it again, use the technology to hit the replay button. If you have friends or family that need to see this info, pass it along to them. And let us know in the comments if you have questions. Thanks for watching Burst TV. See you next time.